Hello, my name is Yasin, and in this video, I will present to you the very famous workflow engine app um, from Kumala, named Kumala Document Management. Well, basically, you know that in Jira, you have a workflow engine, which is basically integrated um, in the product. So each ticket can has a status, and when you change the status, things can happen. Or for example, you can check things before a status gets changed, uh, like permission access and so on. In Confluence, this feature does not exist by default. So if you need to manage processes uh, within Confluence, like saying creating a draft of a certain document um, and then releasing that draft or letting someone else approve that draft and release it, you will definitely then need um, another app. And for this purpose, you can definitely use the Kumala document management. So I'll share my screen and show you the marketplace listing of the app. And then we will go to Confluence, create a dummy space with maybe one page or two pages. And then we will simulate how two users would work together. So one will be then working on the draft and the other one will be then approving that version and uh, yeah, releasing it. So I'll share now my screen. Let's go to the marketplace and search for Kumala Document Management. It's the first app here. Uh, it has 4.6K installation and more or around about 80 reviews. And mm, yeah, sounds like most of them or all of them are super positive. Um, the app is available for server, for data center, and as well for the cloud. The company Komala Tech offers as well a migration path from server data center to the cloud. So um, things look really very, very nice. And of course they offer support for the app. So in case you don't, you don't know how to use the app or you have any problems, you can contact them and they will definitely help you for free. Well, because you're paying for the app anyway. And let's then go to Confluence. I already installed the app, so I don't have to show you that. And I already created two users. Uh, let's check them here. We have, of course, the admin, then we have a developer and we have a manager. So let's suppose we have a process or a documentation which should be written by a developer, reviewed by a manager or released by a manager. So let's then create a new space. Let's create a blank space, call it my software documentation. Ooh. And let's create that one. Okay, so I am now the administrator of the system. Huh? I can go then to settings and I have here to uh, one new menus, document management. Let's click on that one. And here we have the configuration of the app. Of course, the configuration related to this space. As an administrator of the system or of the Confluence platform, you can go to general configuration. And you will find here a list of configurations that you can set up for your whole company. And that includes, uh, of course, uh, shared workflows or global workflows. Um, you can create new ones here. That includes as well importing workflows. So the company regularly releases new common uh, workflows. And what you can do instead of, of course, configuring those yourself, you can just import them and they will be listed under your global workflows. With the app, you can do, of course, a lot of, um, or a couple of other things, like you can set up an e-signature for the documents and you can decide whether the users would sign using their 
username and password, or they would sign the document using a token, which gets generated and stored in the system. Um, there is as well migration assistant, just some sort of short documentation how you can migrate from on-premise to the cloud. Um, you have as well notification system deciding um, uh, how the notifications are managed and when they are sent for which events. This is basically the common configuration what an administrator would work on. And let's go back to this space, my software documentation. As said, under settings, document management, um, we can configure things here. And basically what we do configure are like two things. We can say, apply this workflow to all my pages, or we can say, the following workflows can be used in my works uh, in my pay space and users will later then decide which workflow um, should be applied to which page let's take in this example we have one workflow and all the pages should have the same thing so for that purpose we would click on space workflow it's empty, then we click on Add Workflow. But let me show you one thing before we start. I'll cancel and go back to Pages. Let's create a page. Let's name it Technical Note ABC123. And let's publish that version. So this is how we, you would work normally in Confluence. You would create a page, save it, and that's it. And that version is definitely what users will see. It's the last version in the list of versions, and you can work on it together and produce new versions and so on and so on. The idea of Kamala document management is to give each page a status. So, of course, I can implement everything manually, but well, it's not similar, but it would some way how work. I'll write here, for example, a draft and save and work on it. And everyone who opens this page will see a draft. Um, yeah, and when I'm done, I would say, for example, then um, final. And of course, edit the rest of the page and save it. And Everyone who opens the page, he will see final, so he knows, okay, that's the final version. He's done um, doing or working on this page. But this, of course, is not recommended, it's not good, because if you have a lot of pages, you have expiration dates, you have, you forget, probably sometimes you go on edit, you change something, you're in a draft, so it's not final, because you're still reviewing those new changes. So it won't really work. The idea of Kamala workflow is to start with this small idea and automate it. So it, I'll activate the workflow and you will see how, how that works. Let's go back to workflow, add workflow, and let's choose a very simple, for example, the yeah, approval workflow. I'll select it and click on next. Here I have two, uh, of course, options. I can copy uh, that workflow to my space and maybe edit a version for me, for myself, for my space, or I can link to the global template. So let's link to the global template. And now let's go back to the other page and refresh. And now you have two new icons on this page. First, you have the status in progress uh, with a small circle with a orange color. And then you have another um, link here, which will which shows you the workflow applied to this page. So let's click on this icon. And here you say that the current state is in progress. And you have then one option, you can uh, approve that page. And when it's approved, you have another option, you can go back to update it. I 
there are some things here that are not, of course, documented, but you should be aware of that these transitions between the statuses, they can be manually um, selected. Like I can go from in progress to approved, so that's manually. But from approved back to in progress, it will happen or it can happen automatically. Which means if I have an approved version of that page, and that's the last version, and I edit something and I save it, the uh, page will transition automatically back to in progress. So let's test that thing, that, that option. I would go to in progress. And when I click on that, of course, I have two options. I can reject or approve. Let's write a command looks good and let's click on approve of course the status changes to approved and when i click on that one i still have of course the the the, the report but let's edit this page i am working on chapter two now And once you save, the status will go automatically to in progress. So it was in approved, and now it's back to in progress automatically. So you implement with this app a very uh, simple, of course, workflow for your documents. And you don't have like to tell people how to work on pages, you just implement it once. And depending on the events that they are doing, they can then see the status and decide, of course, what to do with it. Another feature of the app is you can click on in progress and you can say, I would like, for example, my manager to review it. Please review. And we can assign that manager user uh, and, uh, the, the, the review. Um, let's then log in as manager. I'll copy the URL here. And username manager. Okay. So we are now logged in as a manager and we have a notification here. And the notification is saying that admin, so my other user, assigned me a review approval. So when I click on that, I can see, okay, he said, uh, please review. It concerns the technical note ABC123. I can click on that page. Of course, the page gets open. And I can now decide if I should approve or reject does not look good, please rewrite or rework. Reject. So yeah, it goes back then to in progress. And if I go back to my other user here and um, yeah, click on in progress, I can see that the manager uh, rejected that uh, version. Yeah? We have as well an activity report. And under the activity report, you can see um, it's the same as the version list. But you can see, of course, the events generated by the Kumala document management app. So this is basically it. Um, this is the idea of integrating workflows to your pages. By the way, what I've showed you is really a very easy scenario. So you have in progress and you have approve it and you don't have a lot of transitions. You don't have a lot of roles, um, just one event um, or two events. One is um, manually, um, the users can click approve or reject. 
uh, and the other one is um, automatically the, when the users edit a page, it will just transition back to in progress. But you can build with the app really very amazing workflows. So I'll show you the last thing, and then we are done. Um, the last thing is, uh, if I'm not satisfied with this workflow, of course I can create a new workflow, or I can um, edit that one. Huh? So I can go to configuration and then global workflows select this simple approval and we can edit it so you have an editor for workflows and this really makes the app really fantastic i like it um you have um this page uh, two options you can edit the workflow using the ui using the add state reconfirmation adding parameters to the pages and uh, you have as well the uh, editor using uh, yeah the, the 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 code so you can quickly code your workflow uh, and save it and apply it what you can do here, you can add read confirmation so that when users are mentioned, they um, click on the page and a read confirmation will be then stored in the system and show to you in the report. Or you can add parameter. Parameters are really great uh, for uh, managing uh, metadata of pages or processes. Yeah, this, uh, for example, if you would like, um, to um, differentiate to whom belongs that uh, page for department A or B, you would then go to add parameter and you would call it department. And you'd say, I'd like to have this list of departments, dep A uh, or dep uh, B, save. And when you save this one and go back to the page, You can go here to workflow and you can say this page, so not the complete space, this page belongs to department A. It's just a metadata. Um, instead of writing those variables or parameters here, you can write them up. Yeah, I hope you uh, understand now what the Komala document management app can do. And uh, yeah, give it a try, try it out. And if you have any questions, just contact me and I'll be glad to help you answering those questions. Enjoy. Ciao.